Right. Okay. Uh, members from the Serious and Organised Crime Investigation Branch have been conducting an investigation into the manufacture of methamphetamine. That investigation has uh, brought us to this location here at Wingfield overnight where we were able to intercept uh, a male leaving this particular premises where he was arrested. As a result of that arrest, we searched the premises here behind me, a warehouse um, on this street at 6th Street in Wingfield. During that search, we uncovered what is a, a large clandestine drug laboratory involved in the manufacture of methamphetamine. That particular male was taken to the city watch house and charged with trafficking and manufacturing a controlled drug. He was refused bail and he will uh, attend the Adelaide Magistrates Court this afternoon. As you can see behind me, uh, detectives from the Drug and Organised Crime Task Force are here dismantling the drug laboratory and we'll be here for some hours uh, uh, taking this laboratory apart and rendering it safe. The investigation is ongoing. We are looking at the involvement of serious organised crime syndicates in this particular uh, manufacturing operation. Uh, at this point in time we are not ruling out further arrests or further searches being conducted uh, and we will continue to do that until we're able to dismantle the group that's behind this and seize all of the uh, drug manufacturing equipment and any drugs we can and take it off the street. What's the value of the uh, amount of methamphetamine that you found at the premises? So at this point in time we are still, uh, as you can see, dismantling the laboratory. We haven't been able to 100% um, accurately say how much methamphetamine we have here. What I have been advised is that it is um, in the kilo quantities that we've, we've seized here um, at a street level and I won't uh, go into exactly how much we have found because I'm not, not that sure yet, but at a street level we're talking the millions of dollars. So in terms of kilos, you have a rough ballpark? Uh, in excess of two to three kilos. How long has the investigation been going on before? It's been going on since the, the latter part of last year. Has this property been, been one of interest for a while? Yes, it has. Yes, we've... Um, We've had some observations on this property. We've had observations on other properties that we believe that are associated uh, with the manufacturing process. Um, this is only, only one of them. Uh, as a result of this, we've also searched some other properties connected with the male that was arrested today. Do you think they're all linked? Do you think they're all linked which, to the properties that you're looking at? Well, they're definitely linked to the male that we arrested overnight, yes. How many people roughly um, do you believe you're looking at in conjunction with this at this point in time, it's only the male that we arrested last night. Um, you mentioned that you're looking at a serious organised crime syndicates. Do you think that's a sort of local operation or national, or could it be, you know, important internationally? Uh, there's no evidence to suggest internationally at this point in time. Uh, our immediate information is that it is a, it's a local crime syndicate that's involved in this, but we're not ruling out the fact that it could cross borders, and we're still working away at that. Oh, it's, a very it's very significant. It's, uh, it's what the investigation has been all about right from the start, is to uncover uh, drug manufacturing. So it's a very significant find. It's significant in that we've been able to get what I've suggested is a number of kilos of methamphetamine off the street. And it's significant in that we've been able to arrest someone who's engaging in the manufacture of methamphetamine. So it's, it is significant. Obviously your officers are having to take a lot of care and forensic um, uh, staff to safely dismantle this operation. What kind of danger does it pose to the people who also operate businesses it's, it's a great question because drug labs by their very nature are dangerous. It, they involve uh, generally heat, chemical processes, uh, and that makes them volatile to explosion, to fire. So yes, we're here in, a, in a, an industrial area of Adelaide, but drug labs are often found right next door in suburban, uh, suburban streets and suburban homes. So no matter where these drug labs are located, they pose a significant danger to the person who's actually undertaking the manufacturing process and also to the community in general who may just happen to be innocent parties to where a drug lab's actually occurring. In addition to the drugs that have been found inside, what else has been found? Uh, much of the other um, items that have been found here today are items that are consistent with what you use to manufacture uh, methamphetamine. Uh, large quantities of glassware, chemicals, um, heating, uh, devices, etc., that help with the manufacturing process. And the person that was um, arrested this morning, are they someone that's been on your radar for a while? Are they known to police, or is this sort of, do you expect to find them here? Uh, the person uh, that we've arrested uh, is known to police, and that person has been 
uh, a target of some of our investigational inquiries, yes. How long does it take these guys to this last? Look, we've been here since around about 7 o'clock this morning. Uh, we'll be here for another few hours yet. So it, it may finish today or it, it may not. That's um, sort of the, the size and the scale we're talking about, which means uh, we will be here for a while. And we also take it quite slowly and methodically because we know the dangers involved uh, with drug labs. So we're in, we're in no hurry. We'll take as long as we need to. Uh, it's a question I can't answer. I, I don't know. I don't know if it was operating as any particular business. Compared to other um, busts of, of this nature of methamphetamine, how does this sort of sit in that scale? Is it one of the biggest that we've seen in recent times? Or? No, and, and some of you might have attended at Morfitt Vale in the middle of last year where we had a, a significantly large uh, laboratory. That one was, this one is not quite to that level of sophistication or to, or to that size, but nonetheless this is a laboratory that's capable of producing kilos of methamphetamine at a time. So um, I'm not going to speculate on whether it's the biggest or not the biggest. It is, it's a significant size drug lab. Just for clarity, the person who was arrested, this um, particular premises is not necessarily um, linked, like the owner of it isn't necessarily linked to I can't comment on that at this point in time. Clearly that's um, part of our ongoing investigation, uh, but there's nothing, to, I don't have any evidence or information to suggest that the owner of the building at this point in time is connected. So is it a rented space? The, the, building, the building's being rented at the moment? Uh, I, I, I don't know. We're, we're still um, working that out as part of the investigation. Maybe stating concrete. Can you say how many other properties are being searched and what areas are there? Uh, there have been at least four other properties searched in the western suburbs today. Last questions? Do you mind, obviously it's stating the obvious, but the actual nature of the drug, what kind of, um, I guess, tarnish does it inflict on the community when people are using and selling this type of drug? Uh, methamphetamine is an insidious drug. It, uh, it destroys families, it destroys individuals, uh, it's highly addictive, uh, leads to other crime types as well, so it's, it's a really nasty drug and the police will do everything that we can to take it off the street and to dismantle laboratories like this who put it into the hands of users that ultimately just destroy people's lives. In the search of those four other properties today, were any other drugs found, cash, weapons, anything like that? We have made some other seizures and we are assessing uh, the possibility that we found a, another much smaller drug laboratory at one of those addresses. Uh, there has been some, some other seizures at those addresses, yes. Are you surprised it's around the corner, 600 metres away from the police station? No, I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you.